If you're about to take your first microeconomics midterm and feel like you're about to fail it, I'm a tutor and here's a quick review of everything you need to know. And before we get started here, if you just need somebody to walk you through this entire class, I can in about three hours. I've got 95 free concept breakdowns that just step-by-step -step walk you through every core concept in this class. Click the link in my bio to get started now. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. First up here, opportunity cost. That is the true cost of our choices. So we take the stated defined cost of whatever choice we're making, that's the explicit cost, and then add in the implicit cost of the next best alternative that we pass up. This is typically the income or value or profit we could have gotten from that next best alternative. All right, next up here, accounting versus economic profit. But accounting profit does not consider the implicit cost of that next best alternative. Accounts are only focused on how much revenue you're making minus the explicit cost of what you're doing, like your expenses, the wages you're paying, etc. Whereas economic profit, economists do consider that next best alternative. So they add in as a cost the value or profit or income that we could have gotten from the next best alternative to determine if we're truly profiting, if our economic profit is positive from the choice that we're making. In other words, if we made the right decision by passing up that next best alternative. All right, next up here is marginal analysis. My core point here is that if marginal benefit for a given unit is greater than or equal to the marginal cost of it, then you will consume it because you're essentially profiting or breaking even by doing so. We're only going to take that next unit if it makes sense for us, if we make money or break even. Because once the marginal benefit falls below the marginal cost, then we're essentially taking a loss by taking one more unit. So just go unit by unit and calculate the marginal benefit and marginal cost, and you will consume up until the point where marginal benefit falls below marginal cost. All right, next up here, production possibilities, frontier or curve. What I really want to get across here is that line, that curve represents our production possibilities. Each coordinate on that line represents an attainable combination of the two goods on the Y and X axis. By producing along that curve, we're being efficient with our resources. That's our maximum possible output of the two goods. Any points beyond the curve are unattainable. We can't output that many units of both the goods. And then any points within the curve are inefficient. We can bump up our output to rest along the curve and reach our maximum attainable output. We're underutilizing our resources if we're ever producing within the PPF curve. 